Hello, welcome to this Cloud Next session. I'm Chris Braun, the product lead for Google Cloud Workflows. Today we'll hear how a small but mighty team at Deezer launched in record time by leveraging fully managed Google Cloud services. I hope their story and the patterns they share inspire you to build and launch with speed. I'm joined by Felix Voiture, a full stack engineer at Deezer. Deezer's solution is based on workflows, so we'll start with an introduction to workflows, what it is and where it's helpful. Felix will then share the details of Deezer's challenge, the solution they developed, and what they learned in the process. Finally, I'll highlight a few recent and upcoming updates to workflows. Let's start with why application development today needs a service like workflows and how it can help. It's a great time to be a developer. We have access to more powerful services than ever before, both on platforms like Google Cloud and from third parties. Creating our own services is as simple as uploading a snippet of code or a container. Your organizations are likely developing a rich set of capabilities available through APIs. To deliver new functionality, we simply need to combine these services into solutions. And this is where things get challenging. Now we have to deal with all the interactions between the services we're combining. These distributed solutions are inherently harder to understand and maintain. They introduce security and reliability challenges. How can we tap the power of these services without taking on the overhead of maintaining complex distributed systems? Workflows takes on these concerns, allowing you to focus on the logic of how you'd like services to be combined. Workflows integrates with any service with an API and allows you to store API responses for flow control and input into subsequent API calls. Flexible retry mechanisms and error handling ensure that each step happens as you expect and is observable when it fails. Trigger your workflow from code, schedules, events, or messages. Uniquely, workflows can wait without cost for up to a year. Waiting can be based on time or waiting for an HTTP callback. Together, these capabilities organize all the logic for your use case in one understandable and reliable workflow. To do this, you write a recipe for how you'd like services to be called, and Workflows does the rest. This makes your solution simple and easily understandable. No need to hunt and trace through source code for the logic. Every execution of your workflow is observable, supporting debugging and operations. Your end-to-end -end execution is secured through sandboxed execution, data and network security, and built-in authentication. Once deployed, you'll never need to apply a security patch. Workflows are fully managed, with no cost when idle, and scaling up as much as needed. Reliably combining services has many use cases. Here are the top three. Service orchestration is about combining services clearly and reliably to fulfill end-to-end -end use cases, such as, for example, extracting text from images uploaded to a cloud storage bucket. Many customers have built workflows into critical elements of their application architecture, simplifying operations and enhancing observability. Data, media, and ML pipelines benefit from workflows capabilities to wait for long-running jobs to complete, run jobs in parallel, retry on failures, and act on the results. In a moment, we'll hear Deezer's experience applying workflows in just this way. Finally, workflows can be used like shell scripting in the cloud to automate infrastructure tasks, such as backup and automatic remediation. 
Workflow's customers have built self-service systems that provision white-labeled app instances and even complete development environments, sometimes with a human approval step included. Now we'll hear about a challenging project facing a team at Deezer and how they delivered a production solution in record time. Over to you, Felix. Thank you, Chris. Hi, my name is Felix Voiture. I am a senior software engineer at Deezer, and I will present our workflow's use case for building a content delivery pipeline at scale. Before diving into our workflow's use case, I will give you a little bit of context about Deezer. We are a global music streaming company available in 180 countries with a catalog of over 90 million tracks, including original and exclusive music from some of the world's most art creative artists. We offer industry-defining features and user experience innovation, including lossless audio quality and state-of-the-art recommendation algorithm. Our company operates in multiple countries with more than 250 engineers. And we recently created a brand new team called Diversification, with more than 20 engineers working in a highly autonomous environment. Our team is responsible for creating new products such as Zen by Deezer, a mobile application where users can explore and consume a broad catalog of audio and video content created by experts to help users increase their well-being in a simple way. As I mentioned, within the diversification team at Deezer, we build new product around self-produced content, and it led to some technical issues that we needed to address quickly. As it is the first time that we work with self-produced content, and a dedicated production team, we needed to provide a reliable content delivery process at the early stage of our projects. Plus, since our team is fairly new and needed to iterate fast, we didn't want to manage or maintain our own infrastructure. And finally, we had to think at scale, as we would operate on a large amount of content that may include heavy media assets, such as high quality audio and video files. To meet all those requirements, we naturally headed ourselves to serverless solution. As you can see on this diagram, we are using a standard architecture where all our end user devices will reach a load balancer that is serving both our read-only content API, which is hosted on CloudRun, and our media assets from Google Cloud Storage with the CDN feature enabled. Our content API read content metadata from a Cloud SQL database which is hosted on a virtual private cloud network. Since our computing resources are serverless, we are using the standard serverless VPC access connector pattern to establish network connection from our serverless resources and our VPC. On the other side, our operation team needed a way to perform content delivery efficiently. So we first implemented a dedicated API for writing metadata into our Cloud SQL database. We also developed a cloud function, which is in charge of pre-processing delivered media assets before uploading them to Google Cloud Storage. Such pre-processing will include audio encoding using FFmpeg or video HLS conversion using Google Transcoder API. Finally, when we had to connect all the dots, workflows came out as a perfect solution to orchestrate such a pipeline. Thanks to features such as sub-workflows, callback, and connectors, we were able to leverage batch processing at scale by using a main workflow that validates a batch of content through a dedicated function and ingest such a batch by creating one child workflow per content unit. Having separate workflow execution for each content unit offer more flexibility, better control of failures, and thanks to the upcoming parallel feature, we were able to speed up our workflow execution time by running multiple child workflows concurrently. To sum up, using workflows was much easier than setting up and rolling our own orchestration system. In only a few days, we were able to leverage a fully operational and scalable content delivery pipeline without having to take care of any infrastructure-related issues or all the problems you may face when dealing with distributed scheduling. Before to conclude our showcase, I would like to highlight three tips for workflows development that were game changer for us. The first one is the usage of GCP connectors. As we started to have more complex workflows, 
we quickly realized that using already existing connectors to interact with GCP services prevent errors and improve the global readability of your workflow definition. Secondly, the usage of Terraform for deploying workflows. Indeed, using Terraform made our lead time to deliver changes very low, as every changes in a resource or a service used by our workflows is directly reflected into our workflow specification file by using this Terraform templating feature. Whether we had to deploy a change into a workflow or a dependency, the deployment process stays consistent and fast. Plus, it can be easily automated. Finally, and this is one of the most important considerations to have when you are designing a workflow, use child workflow to split your task into smaller chunks. You can easily invoke a child workflow from your main workflow by using a dedicated connector, allowing them to rerun tasks when failing without impacting the entire pipeline result. Plus, enabling the parallel feature to perform child workflows concurrent execution will be as simple as adding a parallel keyword into your main workflow definition. I really hope that our use case gave you a better understanding of all the possibilities offered by workflow. Back to you, Chris. Felix, congratulations to you and the Deezer team on successfully building such a robust solution. And thank you for sharing your learnings with us. To wrap up, I'd like to highlight a few recent and upcoming updates to workflows. As Felix has highlighted, parallel steps are one of those rare features where you get a lot for very little. By simply adding a parallel keyword, as Felix has highlighted, into your existing workflows, loops and branches run simultaneously, which greatly reduces your end-to-end -end execution time. You can even aggregate results within those parallel branches atomically as you go. Event-driven workflows are useful for integration and automation. And EventArc offers an ever-growing set of event sources, including third-party services. When you need to prevent data exfiltration, VPC service controls allow you to enforce a security perimeter around your services, keeping everything that should stay inside private. We are always expanding the services that workflows can orchestrate. Particularly interesting are the recent additions of Google Workspace connectors for Sheets and Forms. These open up new possibilities for workflows interacting with people outside of development roles in your organization. For example, a daily workflow generating a report could write the data into a sheet for others to consume. Or, Workflows could be triggered by a form completed by others in your organization. And we're just getting started. Here are the areas we're focusing on next. We're heavily investing in enhancing the development, testing, and debugging experience on workflows. You'll see some major changes over the next year, plus many quality of life improvements, such as syntax highlighting support in IDEs. Workflows are often applied in tightly secured environments, so we're continually enhancing controls and compliance, including adding features such as customer-managed encryption keys. And of course, Workflows is all about what it can orchestrate, so we're on a mission to support integrating with any service, anywhere. This includes adding more functionality to support workflows within event-driven architectures. And finally, we're working with customers who are incorporating workflows into high volume, line of business aspects of their application architecture. To support these use cases, we're scaling workflows with higher execution limits, more memory, and availability in all GCP regions. If you're new to workflows, the best place to start is to give it a try. A sample workflow is available right inside the Cloud Console. For a more advanced tour, try out a code lab. And if you're like me and like to understand everything before you get started, enjoy the workflows docs, which include guides, as well as a detailed syntax reference. Thank you for your time and attention today. 
And thank you, Felix, for joining me. We hope that you've seen ways workflows can help you quickly launch reliable production solutions. And we look forward to seeing what you'll build.